Hey guys, we're watching Dank Cat Backs. This is a Kenmore 600 series canister style vacuum cleaner I picked up a couple weeks ago at um, Goodwill. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have picked it up, but I have never seen one before. And it was so cheap. It was only, look at this, $12.99. So yeah, that's pretty dirt cheap. Here's the, uh, the front of the, what do you call it, the power head. It's got an adjustable nozzle. Comes with a crevice tool and a upholstery brush or dusting brush. Over here you have the height adjustment, which is on medium, but actually it tends to work better if I have it on low. I, I don't know if it's because my carpet's just so worn out and it's so low, or because it needs a little bit of a gasket right here. I tried to seal it up with some tape up here when I opened it up, but I guess I missed a spot right here, so there's a little bit of a leak. Um, it has a funky uh, swivel, but I understand why they did that. It'd be so if you were um, pushing the vacuum back and forth and you're in a spot to uh, to twist it, it gives you a little bit of leeway to, you know, at least, it's not it's not fixed is what I'm saying. So, if it does get muscled around, it's not going to be as easy to just twist right off. However, it's not a very good swivel design. It's just like, I don't know, a half-baked idea. Um, and then it likes to fall. Um, when I got it, when I at the store, this hose is plugged up, so I took the other vacuum that was there and unplugged it. Here's the canister design. Put a couple uh, bounce sheets in there to freshen it up, keep it clean. But it's got eight cyclones. I really don't like this, uh, what do you call it, suction blow-off valve, or what do you call it, it it's, uh, when it gets too much suction, it, it lets the, the bypass escape, anyway, it's really loud, and it will freak out anybody that's um, around you, even yourself, so that's uh, not cool. Another thing that's not cool with this is even though it has cyclonic action, um, it does not like to dump cleanly, so if you open this up and you look inside, you can see there's a lot of dust in there, and so it kind of, even though it's a Kenmore, and I usually really like Kenmores, um, you can see that's a lot of dust that does not want to like shake out and settle on the bottom which is really kind of a bummer because you'd think with a uh, cyclonic um, canister design that all the dust just sit at the bottom of the canister and you wouldn't need to shake it out or take another squeegee or finger or something to clean it out but what you have to do is take this out and then shake that out like so and or you put this back in, in its place because if you don't take that out um, you're going to get all your debris caught in here not cool um, so the other thing you will and or can or will have to do is just twist and you pull this out and that's kind of the better thing to do because it's easier to get everything out from, from around that cyclone. And then you'll just want to take it over your trash can, do a tap or two like that. And then you can see how much more I got out of that bin. Then kind of, <laughs> then you can get everything out. So. Even though it's like clonic and you think, oh wow, it's 
got uh, eight cyclones. It should be just as good as a uh, Dyson, but I haven't used the Dyson. That's the cancer style, but I have used the other style of Dysons, and they seem to be a cleaner canister. Um, now going to the back side of this, it does have a power retractable power retracting cord, which is cool. Lift it up on the side. Whoops, it's all over. Here's your service tag. Model number 116-2261-4311. 12 amps with power mate, which it did not come with the power mate. That's a little turbo tool about this big that actually plugs in and it has its own motor. But I do have one with another machine. 60 hertz. Vacuum cleaner, serial number ME4905955. Anyhow, there's your uh, exhaust filter. Even though it looks dirty, it seems to be in pretty good shape. Whoops. I do like that design of filter. Seems like a decent design. Has a good seal. Um, I'm not a, really excited about this design here. Um, it sucks from up here, or down here, I should say. And then the top here is where the clean air comes in, dirty air, or dirty air comes in, and the clean air comes out here. Wait, hold on. Goes in. And the stuff comes, yeah, here, but the suction is here. So the motor's back in here. Anyway, I don't know why that was so hard for me to explain. Pretty obvious. Oh, make sure to clip it in right. Oh, yeah, and when I got it, I already showed, but when I got it, the, the filter was completely caked and nasty. And even though I vacuumed it out with another vacuum over and over, it still worked good, but it worked so much better after I, I uh, cleaned it with some Dawn dish soap and let it dry. So here we go. Um, the release still works. Oh yeah, let's show off the bottom side too. So there's your brush roll. Really big opening. There's your service tag right there. Okay. And it's pretty easy to take apart. There's just a couple tabs here, here, and here. And it's really easy to take apart. So unlike a Dyson or I don't know, some other vacuum that might be a little more complex to take apart, this one's really easy to take apart. Put it back together. So here we go. Seems like it's doing good. Let's see what this uh, swivel design is. Kind of silly, but it's better than nothing because I have a Eureka vacuum or a Hoover vacuum cleaner kind of style, and there's no swivel or nothing, and it feels very on rails. Like you can't uh, do much maneuvering with it. This is what it's like on kind of medium. It seems good enough right there, but other places it doesn't seem like it's long enough. Yeah, right, right there.
Sorry about that. I know it drives people nuts when I pull over the cord. But it so happens I don't have another tripod. Can you get that stick? Yep. tricky to do one-handed. There we go. I'll oh, suck that up right away. Oh, I got the bounce sheet. seems higher than most low settings. hung up on everything. basket. feature.
Okay, now let's see what we picked up. I need a... something. Okay, looking up close to the carpet, I think it did good. But then again, I'm seeing some shit left behind, darn it. So, <clears throat> maybe can't do this really good until I fix that little air leak. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. So you can't tell me it didn't work, but I don't know. Not bad, right? Now let's, I guess, do the last 